Oh, you want to see what I've been working on? <clears throat> I've been working on my sister's box, and I got stuck. I got a whole box. Okay, this is a small box. This is maybe the size of a shoe box, maybe a little bit bigger. You can't see where my address was. Okay, and I got these all cut. They're either strips, um, two and a half inches wide, or they're squares that are two and a half by two and a half. And now I'm laying out some blocks. See these? I didn't have enough for center, so I put that one in the center. I think that one's good. I mean, I could have switched the yellow to the corners in the center, but I didn't want to. And then this. This is some batik fabric I had left over from a different project. I used some of this batik in a pink blanket that I made. Love it. And when you lay these out beforehand, I mean, you kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Or if you want to switch the colors around, like these are going to be here. And see how that one's the only pink one in this green? Like maybe I want to switch this pink one for this kind of greeny one over here. I thought it would be a good contrast to have like a green, like obvious, a yellowy, greeny piece in the middle of this one. But if it's going to mess up your another another block, you might want to... What's happening? This is the right side. You know, when you lay these out ahead of time, you can think about stuff like this. And maybe some chevron stripes. Why not? And then you can lay these out so they're all going, you know, this way or that way. I think going up, up and down. And I like to lay out a bunch of these at a time because then you can just, look at this, this is fun. Black. I think I'll put those on the, you know, and you can match it up with like some other black or like some other fabric, something light, something crazy. This has got little swirls on it. So, you know, maybe you'll find something. Maybe I'll look in my box. Oh, there's a gray fabric right there. That's gray. I don't know, black and gray. Mm -hmm. Here's some blue and flowers with brown. Not pink. Mix it up with a pink. There's some pink. That's fun. I didn't get, I haven't used pink in a long time since before Tyler was born. So getting to use pink and making these quilts is kind of fun. Have I showed you what the finished one is going to look like? I wonder if I have. If I haven't, I can show you.